Curtis has been training his range at Chaos Druids, and he is now level 65. Once he got to 65, he wanted to start throwing those red chin champas he caught on the way to getting level 83 Hunter. He's going to throw his red chins at Temple Spiders. Now, I think when you think of chinning, you generally think of, like, Monkey Madness Tunnels. Well, Tunnels, or er, sorry, Temple Spiders are also quite good XP, and the reason why they're so great for Iron Men is because of their loot. Not only do they drop, you know, grimy renards, good alkables like rune items, but they also drop grubby keys. Grubby keys open the grubby chest, which can give you brews, restores, and a whole bunch of useful potions. So I think the loot overall, even if you get a little bit less XP at Temple Spiders, the loot probably makes it worth it right now. Roydy's main focus since obtaining Barrow's Gloves has been on Slayer. Ultimately, he'd like to get level 58 so he can kill K4s and go for Black Masks. Yes! Let's fucking go! <laughs> Let's fucking go! Give me that leaf-bladed sword. Getting rid of this piece of shit. He did take a break from Slayer, however, to knock out King's Ransom as well as Knight's Training Ground, which is a very important quest because it'll allow you to use Piety. Well, I mean, obviously we're not even remotely close to having level 70 prayer, but someday he'll be ready for Piety. And Denise's grind for the day was Guardians of the Rift, so she started off by doing tons of Temporos early on, and now she's moved on to the runecrafting minigame. Law runes for days, yeah. Yeah, because we're always running out of law runes right now, and then we have to buy them, which costs money that we kind of don't want to spend on it at the moment. Paul has also been working on Slayer. I think his goal at the moment more so is to get his combat stats up, though, because he's got something pretty exciting planned. Slayer grind? Yeah, we need to get 70 defense for our Carol's top so I can go do a fire cape run. Because we don't have black dead bodies yet. Hey, this is a uh, Mark of Grace number 60 right there, which I think is the most expensive piece. I want to say legs are 60, so given that I always like to buy the most expensive piece first, I would say that's our first piece of graceful right there. How's the Slayer level looking? Uh, pretty good. We are 14k from 57, so it's going to be about 35k until 58, which we should get today and begin hunting the Black Masks. Very nice. How many Chinchampas we got left to chuck, Curtis? Oh, we've just started, so we've got genuinely 7,500, and we're already at 66 range, so... Oh. Looking like a big finish here, to be fair. Yeah, that's going to be sick. It's already good. got uh, two art clues in as well from here, so they should be rolling in as well. Oh, nice, nice. It's going to be another uh, Curtis Dagonoff Prime carry for I'm sure. <laughs> oh, to yes. say Prime is sweating. Yep. Yeah, I mean, Foe's already 70 range as well, so we should have no problem at all. Oh, wow, nice. UK is going to be a breeze. Like, if we can get a couple more Barazines soon, like Tank Legs, it's going to be so easy. Oh, yeah. I, I just... may or may not have happened. Pausing? What? Shit, I did oh, it Oh, come on, bro. I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought, thought you were going to tell us a story. Genuinely. No, yeah. It's always no. like the perfect time. I'm, you, you keep me guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody asked if on Farmers V1 I bought two crystal shields on accident, and I just said, I, I don't want to oh, talk about it. I don't remember that. <laughs> Not again. You're just learning from all the mistakes on number one. That's yep. number two. <laughs> that was just a trial run. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there is level 51 agility, which means that with Summer Pies, I can boost up to 56 for Regicide. Although, I should probably double check that we have Summer Pies. I think we do, but let me see. Summer... Oh, Curtis is so clutch. Hello, Grace. I would like to purchase, yes, a pair of graceful legs for 60 marks of grace. That's one of many. It's kind of crazy. Oh, fuck off. If you fall again, I am gonna shit. What? Now I have to bank and get more ropes. What the fuck, man? Um, so do you know that initial rope swing where Paul fell? Uh, yeah, I just fell twice, and so now I gotta bank and get more ropes, and I want to swing off of a <sighs> similar cavern IRL. <laughs> <laughs> See, what you do in that scenario, you hit the thumbs down, 
and then you send the log out so that the thumbs down goes through to their system and then right. you log back in. Yep, and then and then you get boosted all RNG. That's a, a thing, I swear. It is, yeah. Same as taking a break for three or four weeks. Well, I just stack out the room casting level four law runes. Woo! Let's Excellent. go. Have you done Troll Stronghold? I have, yes. Sweet. Woo! Even wooer. Yeah, we're woo 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 wooing. Have you gotten any uniques there? Um, from Guardians of Drift? Yeah. No, I got fuck all. Same, except for my two dies. Ah, yes. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe next time. Last pool I did for like 20, I didn't even get any fucking pearls. I'm like, what? That is a scam. Yeah, I'm getting scammed over here. Oh, maybe next if time. If you end up getting a death or catalytic talisman, that's going to be big. Ooh, because... Wait, what's that big for? Morning's in part two. It just saves you like half an hour of crap. Ooh. Okay. Well, my triangle. I don't think I've ever done that list on any Iron Man. I've always went for the Death Talisman first. Every single time. I think literally on my Iron Run, I had the Slay level before I did that quest. Oh, wow. Really? <laughs> I had 85 and I boosted it. Five plus boost to try and get a Death Talisman. Dang. Yep. Thank you. Was that so hard? You know, maybe it was the Rune HQ guides that I used as a kid that made it seem more difficult than it actually is, but like... <laughs> like, that is the most piss-easy thing ever. I don't know how I could have possibly messed that up. What? Oh my god. Is Regicide much harder than Underground Pass? Well, you have to go through the Underground Pass twice for Regicide. So, in a way, yes. But you also generally have higher agility while doing Regicide, so you usually fall less. I would say on app. I'm just gonna not. I'm just jinxing myself, clearly. <laughs> nice to be fair. Bro, it's, it's just not funny, is it? I mean, come on. Come on. No, there's no way you get me all the way to the last check and then I fall. Fuck, the underground pass actually hates me on this account. It's bad, dude. Well, I've not, uh, I've not quite finished Regicide yet, but I can already access this area of the game. So, let's talk to this chick and this could be the casket. Oh, it's not. Ah, General Bet knows, though. I can do that, sweet. Okay, King Lathis, I've got your message from Iaworth, and that should be the Regicide quest completed, which gives us a big agility XP drop, and that gets us Ooh, to 52 agility. Oh, yes, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, that Appreciate means clue time? Yes, it Ooh. sure is. Pause, Ooh, champ. That the odd body, come on. Oh, please. Okay, we've got... The hard casket. We had to do regicide for it. Hopefully a good reward. We want black dehyde or MSBs preferably. Well, no black dehyde or MSBs. I got two rune kites though. That's kind of decent. We wow, now we have five streaking. rune kites at least. Oh, sweet. It's all okay. we've been getting lately. Okay, well, we're covered there, but uh, yeah, no MSBs or black dehyde. Sorry. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna keep one of these rune kites, though. That's good, I guess. And then, uh, we'll slap the other in the group storage. Okay, Roydy needs a... What is... 83k? These things alk for, like, 30k. That's unreal. Okay, yes. I will take a rune halberd because <laughs> Roydy needs it for a clue scroll. What a... What an egregious price. Here we go. <gasps> Holy... Okay. Oh, the Rune Helm oh. H5. That's so good. Oh, we that do need those. Yeah. We got the really stole good. today as well with you. We got the stole and the H Helm. Holy shit. Oh, sick. That's really what good. What a banger. And some great teleports as well. Iaworth, Tybo on it, and Nada. Wow. What a clue. It's all unique. Yeah, boys, we got a hard casket. Good Ooh. luck. Bish, bish. Bish, Had bish is three right. Three in the last 24 hours after zero. Nice. It is. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go! <laughs> oh, bless Dehyde Top. Yes. Oh, no Fucking way. Ancient Dehyde Body. That's our huge. third pair of chaps. I was oh. right about the rune pick and the holy blessing as well. 
Yep. That's even better than a black dehyde body. <laughs> it was, like every one of those things was something good. Let's go, dude. Big, big nice. moves. Yeah, from the, the gang goes to next with this thing. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Someday. I'll uh, pop that in since I'm nowhere near 70 range. All right, Islawin, I've planted your tree thingy. Uh, I think I'm going to take the shield. The only reason you would take the bow first is because you need it for the hard achievement diaries. But I just looked, and I am so far from the requirements. By the time I have the requirements, I'm probably going to be swimming in money, so fuck it. I'll take the shield, as I would say it is definitely more useful. And this time, I can't accidentally buy a second because, well, I'm poor. I don't draw it. I don't even have the defense. I can't even wear the damn thing yet. <gasps> I did. I, I just did it again, bro. I held the space ball. I just did it again, but I, I don't have enough money. <laughs> I, I literally just did it again. Well, I wanted to start. Oh no! Oh god. Go on, then start it, and it's you may as well finish. I'm not... I, I, I knew I needed to kick in the YouTube voice, and for some reason, my hand was like, unmute yourself. <laughs> I do that all the time. I think I've done that a lot today. <laughs> I do I'm, it in panic. I'm starting Morning's End Part 1. That's all. Oh. Because I have the requirements, so what the hell. Can you uh, maybe for us narrate how your average night look like in your YouTube voice? <laughs> My average I guys, know, I'm Mr. Curious. Mammal here doing a bit of cooking tonight. So basically what you got to do, guys, you got to get the sore and the carrot and you got to cut it. Hey, you're not carrot. Mr. Mammal. <laughs> no, no, that's that's definitely better than I could ever do it. Honestly, <laughs> we'll save you the pay. <laughs> well done. Tonight, we're going to be making a spaghetti. And it's actually funny. A lot of people don't know this, but uh, spaghetti. Okay. What? That's it. <laughs> what else? I, I had no fun. Ah. I know. I just thought the first word I could think of. Then why I said sore and carrot. But there you, go. you guys more into meat sauce or meatballs? Balls. Mm, meatballs for sure. And then we have this uh, like kind of classic bisto gravy. Love our gravy here in the UK. You know everything with gravy up north. You know. Bit of so, gravy. Bit of gravy. You know. Love me gravy, thick. Uh, I'm more of a meat sauce. That's how I always had it growing up, personally. But I'd never say no to the balls, either, you know? Oh, oh yeah. I'll keep that in mind. No. Kablammy! Hit him with the blicky. Return to Erinwin in Letia. Oh, I'll return to Letia. Letia suck my... <laughs> So stupid. It's just so stupid. Okay, uh, Aaron Wynn, I think I've done all that needs to be done. This should be Morning's End Part 1. Completed for a whopping 40,000 oh, thieving XP. Which is, well, a lot more than it used to give you, that's for sure. Now, I took a look. And I actually have the requirements to do Morning's End Part 2 as well. You know, I think I'm just gonna do it, man. I, you know, it's quite weird that somebody would make an excuse to do Morning's End Part 2, but, I mean, what, what the hell, dude? I've got the requirements, I don't know, let's, let's just do it, I guess. So I think Morning's End Part 2 is widely regarded as a lot of people's least favorite quest in the game, and, you know, I've always had decently good luck with this handhold portion, and today, I learned why everybody hates this quest so much. The actual light puzzle itself, not so bad, pretty easy. Especially with the Quest Helper plugin. I'm not... Okay, listen. I'm only 52 agility. And it, the Quest recommends you have at least 65. So I kind of deserve this. But I swear to God, I fell on these handholds for 30 minutes straight. It was unbelievable. Please? No! Okay, so I gotta explain a little bit of context here. Uh, again, I've been falling for like 30 minutes straight. Uh, just over and over again, keep falling. My wife calls me on the phone. So I answer the phone quick. It's like a 20 second phone conversation. Okay, I hang up the phone and then we'll go from there. Yeah, I just called my... I just called my, uh, my JMod contact. 
asked a favor, so we should uh, we should be succeeding on this one. <laughs> I wasn't kidding, I told you! I just had to call on a favor! Oh, oh my god! I have to cross back over again! No! Already? So soon? I just had to do this shit, man! There it is. Oh, there it is. It's oh, time. My God. Nice. Congratulations and wow. Game that fast. And so Roydy is now level 58 Slayer. That means he is able to kill Cave Horrors. Cave Horrors, of course, drop Black Masks. So if he is able to get all of us Black Masks now, when we start Slayer someday, it'll be much, much quicker from that 15% boat boost from the uh, the Black Masks. To be honest, on a, on a possible list of things that I expected Mr. Mammal to do today, Morning's End Part 2 was not one of them. Same. Absolutely same. I knew I was going to do Regicide, and then I started Morning's End Part 1 while I was there. And then I saw that I had the requirements to do 2 as well, and I'm like, you know what? We're just, you know, we're on a roll. Let's do it. Mm. And now, the fact that I'm doing this at 52 agility has made me regret my decision, but... <laughs> But I, I'm 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 sunk cost fallacy at this point. I'm done too. Well, done no, deep. it's good because anytime you lose by failing, you're gonna make up by getting that juicy XP drop in the Fally rooftop bracket and not having to do that. That's true. That's true. Cause yeah, this thing gives what like 50k XP or something. That's gonna be a couple something levels big. at least. Yeah. But yes, we have calculated it. Um, there's some rates listed on the wiki. And, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't even go down as low as 52, I just succeeded. Let's fucking go! Um, uh, I had about a 2% chance to cross the handholds at my level. 2%. Oh my. Now, the handholds suck, but I would say the next worst part of this quest, if you're an Iron Man, is you have to collect 50 items. 50 of the most random ridiculous all over the game items and give them to Thorgal. I don't know what the hell he does with them. Are we having a dwarf garage sale? I, I have no clue. Okay, I believe the iron pickaxe is the last item. That should be all 50. And you should give me a death talisman. Yes, it's done. Other than the handholds, that is the most annoying part of the quest is running these damn death talismans. All these items are the death talisman, but... I think that's it. I think we're good to hand this in. Okay, Aaron Wynn, I've done the what it do. I don't I'm, I'm not, I don't really know what I did, but I I did what it do and then there is Morning's End Part 2 completed. There it is, dude. 60k 60, agility. Damn. 60k. That's crazy. Yes, after them changing the quest XP, that is a Actually, 60... kind of an incentive to get that quest done sooner rather than later these days. I know, I know. That's what I was just thinking. Like, it, it's painful to do it, but that's that's big. Because it took me from 52 to 56 agility. Holy shit. Oh, my. 56 agility! I'm going to be at Sears course in no time, man. That was not fun, but I'm glad I did it. Because, holy, that's a lot of agility XP. Okay, so I am not 56 woodcutting yet, which you would normally need for the Fremnic Isles to make uh, the split logs and this gear and stuff. However, Paul has already done the Fremnic Isles, and because of that, he supplied us with the split logs needed. So, I don't even need the woodcutting level. I can just go do the Fremnic Isles right now, so let's go get a Helm of Need is Not, shall we? Mammal, we got another hard casket. Damn, you're rolling. 
All right, good luck, man. I, I've just been getting really good steps today. All right. Let's go. <laughs> what? what? Is that a good or a bad noise? That was the worst sack of shit I've ever seen in my life. Not one useful thing. Hold on. I gotta... I'm pulling your stream up. Oh I my. already elked everything. It was, it was two rune longs, a rune full helm, and some runes. <laughs> shit. This, you know, this is a kind of a common theme with all RuneScape quests, but I can just remember this quest when I was a kid being absolutely terrifying. But again, that's kind of the case for all of them. Elvarg, you know, I, everything was scary as hell when you were a kid. And then you fight it again as an adult and you're like, oh, the hell was I scared of, man? The worst death I ever had in, in all of my RuneScape years. I saved up money for a long time to buy a Sarah sword. And I had an obsession with, with meleeing stuff. I was like, oh, yeah, my stats are high enough. I can melee. So I used full Varax and a Sarah sword to do Barrows. Now, this was back when the items protected on death was based off of high elk value. And so you would keep three Varax items. And, and I remember my internet disconnected and I died and I lost my Sarah sword. And I, I cried. Literally cried. I was so sad. Oh, which of these skills would you like to add 10,000 XP to? Um, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. And if I do hit points, it's going to give me a level. So, uh, <laughs> fuck it. Give me the hit points level. Sure. And then the next one will do, oh, heck, I don't know. Defense. Why not? And there is the quest completed. We now have the Helm of Need is Not, and I think I get some more XP as well. 10,000 woodcutting XP, 5k crafting, and 5k construction. That gets us to, well, 68 hit points, first of all. 43 crafting, 48 woodcutting, and 27 construction. Right, so now that I'm done with all those quests today, for the rest of today, I am going to work on the requirements for Legends quest. I really don't need very many stats to do Legends quest. It's a few, like, it's legit like a few levels and a few skills. So uh, I'm going to start by getting 52 mining. Right now I'm level 50, so that shouldn't take long. Uh, there's level 52 mining. That did not take very long. What's the buckets of sand up to? Let's take a look. We're at, uh... 5.7k, nice. Right, so another one of the requirements for Legends Quest is 50 crafting, and I'm going to be blowing glass for that, so I, I suppose I can withdraw these buckets of sand and put them in the group storage and just use what I need to get to level 50. It's going to cost me about 300k to withdraw these, though, so probably got to make a little money quick. Okay, made a bit of money from selling rune arrows again. Here, you want to take these, uh, these buckets, bruv? 5,000 buckets, and I will take 5,000 buckets of sand for 250k, but, you know, everybody's gonna need to train crafting, so I'll slap that in the group storage. And then to go along with those buckets of sand, I needed soda ash. I like to buy them at the, uh, the Corsair Cove. In my experience, it's one of the less busy, uh, port trader areas, and it's also pretty, pretty close to a bank. I gotta say, I like blowing glass, you know... Over the years, they've added so many great quality of life things for crafting for Iron Men, like mining your buckets of sand and growing giant seaweed. But before you have the super glass make spell on the Lunar Spellbook, it does suck. It's a, it, it just is a pain in the ass, man. You gotta buy the soda ash, and then you gotta make the glass in the furnace, which takes forever. But, you know, again, compared to when I started Iron Man mode back in 2015, we still have it so good. And while editing this video, I did blow all the molten glass that I made, and it got me up to level 51, actually, so it got me an extra level. I probably did my math wrong, to be honest. I would not be surprised. Um, I also woodcutted up to level 50, so I think the only requirement I have left for Legends is 50 smithing, but I'm gonna tackle that tomorrow. After that, I headed over to Ammonite Crabs, got 69 strength. Nice. And that is where I'm going to call it a night. Thank you all very much, as always, for watching the video. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon.